Um, anyway, like any set of ideas, Islam, uh, Islam is it's like a religion, it's any set of ideas, it deserves to be scrutinized. Well, I have scrutinized it and I have found it wanting, I found it lacking. Everywhere there is Islam, you will find women oppressed. Everywhere there is Islam, you will find... You're wearing a hijab in the United States of America. What is wrong with you? You see, they want to shout you down by saying, oh, what about me? I'm not so oppressed. Well, let's take, let's move on from women. If you don't care about female genital mutilation, don't care about forced marriages, don't care about acid thrown in the faces of your Islamic sisters, if you don't care about any of those things, fine. Let's talk about gays instead. In 12 Islamic countries, I could be killed for my sexuality. Is that okay? People, 100 million people live in countries where it is illegal to be homosexual. All of those countries are Islamic. This is not an ISIS thing. You know, you will see gays being thrown off the roof in ISIS-controlled territories. But this has nothing to do with terrorism. This is mainstream Muslim culture. Your religion does it everywhere your religion exists. It is a threat, an existential threat to gay people. Everywhere in the world there is Islam, you will find women oppressed, homosexuals murdered, you will find gang rape. Now, there's a unique phenomenon that it doesn't really exist outside of Islamic cultures, of familial gang rape, where fathers, brothers and cousins go out raping people together. It happened in Rotherham in the UK. And the liberal establishment in the UK didn't investigate this because according to a government report, not a far right-wing blog, um, according to a government report, 1,400 young girls were raped in racially or religiously, as you choose to define it, motivated crimes because both the police and the authorities were too scared of being called racist to intervene. And this pattern repeats itself everywhere there is mass Muslim immigration. My suggestion to you, America, is that you don't need it here. Learn your lesson from 9-11. Learn your lesson from Orlando. These socially regressive hours, oh, see they walk out when they don't like the facts. These socially regressive attitudes. <laughs> these socially regressive attitudes of Muslims in the West are horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. The surveys show that 52% of British Muslims think that my sex life should be made illegal. 39% of them. Why are you leaving? Why are you leaving? Don't you want to talk about numbers? Are you embarrassed? Are you embarrassed? Are you embarrassed of the hateful culture that surrounds your religion, that oppresses women and murders homosexuals and commits unspeakable acts of terrorism? Are you ashamed of it? Would you like to talk to us about why there's no global Muslim peace movement? Because I don't hear, I hear lots of very upset people at my talks complaining about statistics they can't refute. I don't hear a lot of Muslims standing up against terrorism. Or whether it is some of the Islamic hate crime hoaxes we've been seeing more recently. And these happen with alarming frequency. In fact, I, I've struggled to find, my research team has struggled to find a supposed hate crime against Muslims on an American college campus that did not turn out to be fake. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you about some of them. One student at the University of Louisiana admitted her attack was completely fabricated. She made the whole thing up because Trump supporters attacking a Muslim woman is simply believable to liberals fed a steady diet of hate by fake news. This is a rare instance of the lying media actually admitting that one of its cherished hate crimes was a hoax. Normally they just move on quickly and never mention it again. Yasmin Sawi, just 18 years, ago, 18 years old in New York City, made up a similar story. She said three men called her a terrorist and attacked her, telling her to get out of the country. Again, it was fake. But you won't read the corrections, you only read the outrage. Um, and here's a, a brand new one that can't be blamed on Trump supporters because it took place in Austria. A 14-year-old girl claimed she would a, was attacked and that evil white men tried to rip off her hijab on a train. The police revealed it to be a complete fabrication as well. 
and a little closer to home. Oh, we're still having trouble at the back. Three down. <laughs> Three down. I think, if you, I think if you take the second left, the airport is just... Um... Actually, no, we don't want them there, do we? <laughs> it's a bit of a problem, actually. I, I hadn't really thought this through.